Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Past is Alive, another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. I want to thank you guys all for being here. Tonight, we are breaking 95 Studio, the credit card set. I'm sure some of you guys may remember this set from your youth. I know I do. I used to like these back when I was a kid. Um, more serious collectors, never really care for these too much, and they never really caught on. But uh, credit card design was definitely different, so I think that's why I enjoyed them. Definitely had quite a few of them, too, as well. But... Overall, it's a relatively small set, 200 cards. These were a buck 49 per pack back in 95. And now you're guaranteed one gold card per pack. The platinum ones are a little more difficult to find. Those are one in 10 packs. But uh, the parallels, the uh, inserts, so those are the only two inserts. They, uh, the gold, they parallel the first 50 cards in the set and the platinum parallel the first 25 cards in the set. And the first 25 are probably the best ones overall you can get. I think so, at least. There's a few Hall of Famers and stars outside of those, but primarily the, the best ones in the first 25. And um, a big surprise, there's actually zero rookie cards in this set. Absolutely none. The big rookie of 95 was Hideo Nomo. He did not make it into this set. But uh, still, some decent Hall of Famers and stars and whatnot. It's definitely kind of an oddball one that some of you guys may not have seen when you were kids or don't remember. So I'll try to take you back to 95 and check these 95 studio out. So thanks again for being here. And let's check out what we got here. Very, very fancy packs here. And we have some gamblers standing by here. Joseph Baumgarten is up first. The first nine packs here. Seven and nine. Hey, what's up, Joe's Card Corral? What's happening, man? So five cards per pack. Make sure I pulled out nine. Yep. And Joe Yankee, you are up first. Plastic insert card in every pack. Yeah, the platinum and gold are plastic. Die cut corners. What's up, case cards and comics? What is going on? But it's been a long time since I've opened a pack of these, so I'm pretty, pretty eager. And it looks like our gold card is Sean Green. Not a bad one there. Definitely a little heavier than uh, regular card stock, too. But uh, you get a feel for them overall. Definitely different kind of cards. Some stats in the front and whatnot, where the credit card number should be. Hey, Michael Padgett, what is happening? We are doing credit cards tonight. These are regular base cards right here. And the platinum look very similar except the die cut edges. All rude, Greg Vaughn. Case cards, as I've never seen these before. I feel like a lot of people may not have seen these, so uh, that's why I'm definitely stoked to check them out. Rod Beck and Tony Phillips. Might see a lot of shitty players in here, too. But uh, there are some stars as well. First pack down for Joseph Baumgarten. Not sure if he's in here, but the Sean Green gold card was not bad. KB cards, these are weird. They're definitely different. But they're still relatively expensive to get a box of these. Like, they usually still sell for like 50 to 60 bucks. Glenn the Sad Mariners fan said, found one in a Fairfield. And Paul L. says, Bernard Gilkey's the best player in the set. There's the big unit leading it off here. Looking really pissed off. And moving on to Ken Hill. Jim Abbott, always liked him. Hey, thanks, Michael P. Terry and Matt Williams gold card. Uh, Joe's card corral probably been really excited to see that one back in 95. The year after he got robbed in the uh, home run chase there. Not bad, though. Sean Green and Matt Williams. AFs is there. Definitely unique, but pretty cool. If they if they bought these back in 2020, I'd buy some. I probably would, too. Like I said, uh, the more serious collectors definitely kind of shun these cards, and they're more more so geared towards kids. I liked them back then just because they were different. Hey, Joe's, Joe Mansman. And there's Austin Farmer. It says, watching this in Kung Fu Hustle. Yay, bronchitis, LOL. Thanks a lot, man. And thank you for being here. I hope you get better, man. Kung Fu Hustle and Bronchitis. That's a combination there. And 95 Studio. Joe Carter. And it looks like we have a Carlos Garcia. I never cared for Garcia, even though he's a bucko. Terry Pendleton. Never really cared for him, too. And Travis Fryman, gold card. So like I said, you get a, a nice mixture of players from that year in here. There's 200-card set, so it's pretty small for that time. 
And there's Criterium Racer. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Moving right along for Joseph Yankee. I have not seen him in here yet, but uh, Dragon Fan Tim says these were four bucks a pack in '95. See, I, don't, I looked it up online. It said a buck forty-nine. Another Sean Green gold card for Joe Yankee. I see him. He's in here now. He just popped in. So now we have doubles of the Sean Green and a Brett Butler, Chili Davis, a Ruben Sierra. And the last one is Rick Wilkins. And Joe's card cross says you can vacation with Eric Plunk, but don't bring your American Express card. Jim Mannell's in here. What's up, man? Says, glad on these are sticking. I didn't think that they would, just because of they are embossed. But that would be on our side in this, uh, this one. Nothing too crazy yet, Joe Yankee. Two Sean Green gold cards. This is Donnie Baseball. Joe Yankee's obviously a big Yankees fan, so... There is Don Manley for you. And it's actually a platinum card, too. I didn't even realize that. That's probably one of the best cards you can pull out of the, this box overall. Like I said, those are supposed to be one in ten packs. But uh, very nice one there for you, Joe. 25 card set. He's three of 25, so I like that one a lot. And so we have Cliff Floyd next. John Wetland, Cecil, and Kevin Stalker. Very nice Donnie baseball, though. I like that one a lot. So, what is that, four or five packs in and found a platinum already? Not too shabby there at all, Joe. AF says, I wonder what the population is for any of these PSA graded. I have no idea. Hey, Jake. Tim Salmon on top here. There's Austin Farmer again. He says, I, I haven't let my Asian half be itself enough. Probably why I've been sick. That and school blows. Joking kind of stay in school, kids. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. Well, hopefully uh, turn things around here in the next day or two, man. I don't think you got to worry about kids watching the channel anymore with all that uh, garbage that YouTube's trying to pull between uh, kids and adult content. It's a bunch of horse shit. Shane Ho Park, it's actually a second year card for him. Scott Erickson and Kenny Lofton is a gold card. I definitely had that one when I was younger. Joe definitely remembers this. They used to sell grab bags at a place called Discount Sports Cards. I'm sure I've talked about it before several times, but uh, we used to buy these 50 cent and dollar grab bags there. And in 95, they were definitely stocked full of gold insert cards from this set. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I think I had that loft and I pulled out of one of those. The grab bags are decent. Usually they're uh, all sports mixed, but usually the total value is like five, six bucks, maybe even a little more for the 50 cent ones. So when we were kids, we loved those. The super, they had super grab bags for a dollar. Those ones you could pull like $20 cards out of $50 cards, whatever else. Mike Smith says these cards definitely went in kids' wallets. I feel like I probably did that too. Rum Ventura is the gold card for that pack. And Derek Bell, Roberto Kelly, Brian Harvey, and Steve Bouchel ends that pack out. Still stoked about that uh, Don Manley, though. Platinum is pretty sick. Came in at a good time, Joe. And Brady leads it off. Joe said, John would always give the owner a rough time. <laughs> we definitely did, man. I remember, what, what was that? We had like a fake card of Joe, and we kind of snuck it in the showcase there. You snuck it in the showcase. And then, I, I don't know if we found it or not, or if, he, or if we left right after that. It was pretty funny. Jay Buhner, a checklist card. There's two of those in the set. Lance Johnson and Paul Molitor. I definitely had that one, too. I used to PC Molitor in the mid-90s. Had probably like 200 of his cards. Maybe not quite that many, maybe like 100. But uh, cool one there, Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. And last pack for Joe Yankee. Paul else is every college kid in the state of Washington probably tried to use the, the 
<laughs> Griffey credit card is their fake ID bag in the 90s. <laughs> That would be something, huh? Hey, what's up, dear man? Sean Dunstan leads it off. Marquise Grissom. Looks like we have an Albert Bell. Mike Smith, no Griffies yet. The Mattingly Platinum was a nice surprise, though. Greg Jeffries and Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin never had much value to his cards or anything, but uh, still Hall of Famer, still a nice one. Molitor, Larkin, the Platinum, Don Mattingly. Not a, a bad stack of cards there at all. Very shiny. Hey, what's up, Elkanon? And then we go on to stack two for Joseph Burrow Jr. A lot of Joseph B's in this one. What's up here, say? So do the next nine packs. One, two, three, four. That was a good guess. Austin says, I read YouTube will be able to shut down channels that aren't mon or that either aren't monetized or making enough. Yeah, that's that is a bunch of trash, man. I've been reading about that myself. It's kind of like, I don't know, from... They didn't release a whole lot of details on it, but it seems like they're going to penalize you if you like if you make videos. Like, I don't think this channel is geared towards kids at all. I mean, obviously, I do toys and figures and stuff, but, like, they're geared towards adults, you know, uh, like 30-plus. But I think that I could be penalized because I do that. So... I think they're, they could fine you, like, up to $42,000, like, per video or something asinine like that. <laughs> Joe Yankee says they try to shut down the passes alive. They'll have to deal with me. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. It's pretty ridiculous, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to make my uh, videos geared towards adults. I don't really think I have many kids that watch anything. Paul L. says I'm only 20. I thought you were older than that, man. It's pretty wild. Craig H says they are just asking for people to quit YouTube. That's what it seems like, man. I, I like Collector Hollock is a good dude. He has a channel. He did a video today, like trying to describe it in detail more, um, the terms and conditions. And I don't know. Saw a lot of people on there like I'm just gonna quit. It's just like idle threats, I think. So like if I if I want to make videos on your platform and target them towards adults, and um. I'm going to be penalized for that. It doesn't really seem like a platform people will continue to use if you do that. Hey, Joe R. Thanks, man. Appreciate you stopping by and commenting. Yeah, I'm definitely a kid at heart, too. So I think a lot of us are kids at heart. Joe, he says, my ex-wife says I act like a 12-year-old like I was a kid. I think we have 12-year-old mentalities. Rusty Greer leads it off. Joseph Burrow, Jr. I don't think he's in here. He's an EMS worker. I think he's probably working late. Dear man... No, you don't got to leave, dear man. You can stay in here. I appreciate you being here, buddy. Will Clark. Looks like we have a Mike Greenwell. Scott Cooper and Tony Gwynn's gold card. Nice one there. Gold cards are flashy. I like them. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen, like, um, I don't know, any PSA or graded 95 studio. Probably because... They're not really sought after that much, but I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to get a high grade. I don't know. It's just my take on it. Looks like we have... I thought that was Bernard Gilkey for a second. Dear man, I am outside of Pittsburgh, like probably a half hour. Chet says, can I see the Mattingly Platinum? You sure can, man. Let me dig out of the stack here. That was a definitely a nice surprise. Out of like the fourth or fifth pack. So like identical to the regular base set, but the rounded off corners. Jeffrey Hammonds. And it looks like we have a Chipper Jones. Not a bad one there. And Pedro Martinez. And it looks like the Big Hurt follows that up. Nice. Thomas Goldcard. So far, a nice stack for Joseph Burrow. Hey, there's WBJJ. What's up, man? Yeah, Jeffrey Hammond's definitely a bust. He was a lot of hype back in 92. AFs is out of the 1,200 total population graded there are 991 PSA 10s. That is crazy, man. I kind of had a feeling for these. So, I don't know if you guys... I could throw that manly in a card saver for you, Joe, if you're going to send it into PSA. Spicy Bear says, nice cards. These definitely are nice. It's nice to see these after all these years. I don't think I've seen really looked at these since like the mid-90s. And there's a Piazza Gold. 
Getting some nice ones now. And Dante Bichette, Pudge Rodriguez. They don't really see these too often. There's a Canseco for Chris Bolton, who I don't think is in here, but he's a diehard Canseco fan. Actually, a lot of people still are. And Chuck Knobloch. Michael Pease is something tells me I had the Thomas Gold, but never had the Griffey. I feel like I had the Thomas Gold, too. And um, I don't know what ever happened to it. Teddy Halpin. Um, I don't think I... I did see it now. I'm sorry. There's Teddy Halpin. says, I'm 11. Really just got a 68 Ryan. So happy. Well, thanks a lot, man. And you got a 68 Ryan rookie. That is pretty freaking awesome. Where'd you get that at? Was that an eBay purchase or a card show or what? So I guess there's more kids here than I thought there was. No, it's kind of a conundrum on what I should do. Because it's kind of stupid because if you make your videos targeted towards kids, then I think they disable comments. And that kind of sucks because I like hearing what people have to say and feedback and like commenting back to people and whatnot. Greg H says, maybe Panini will bring these back someday. That'd be pretty awesome. And Joe R says, I started collecting 80s and 90s baseball rookie cards of Hall of Fame players. You guys made me start collecting again. It's been great. That's awesome, man. I love to hear that. That's pretty much what I collect primarily, too. I'm almost finished with 80s and 90s, and now I'm maybe... I started going back to, like, the 60s and 70s and trying to get some there, and now I've moved into the 2000s. God help me, I moved into the 2000s and started buying newer cards. But, I don't know. Newer isn't 10 years ago, so... The world's not ending yet. Dave Justice Gold. And Austin Farmer says, YouTube can't shut you down if I keep super chatting you. So here you go. I'm one of the reasons college kids shouldn't have credit cards. Oh, well, YOLO. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. <laughs> That's hysterical. Well, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens here. Orlando said Eddie Murray, but I don't know. I'd like to hear what uh, other people's takes are on what they're doing with their channels. Because, like, YouTube is making you pick what your um, who your video is targeted towards. Like you don't have a choice anymore. It's either towards adults, and you can turn any age restriction on if you want to, or it's towards kids. And like I said, I didn't really read all the fine print, but if it's towards kids, I know that comments are disabled, and that kind of sucks. I don't know if there's any other kind of almost like penalties. It's a Sheffield base card. I've not seen that one yet. What's up, Brittany? Ken Caminetti. Looks like we got Jose Rio. Bubba Smith's card says I had an auto soto. That's pretty freaking awesome. Moises Alou. And there's a regular Dom adding a gold card. Platinum and gold now. Pretty freaking awesome there. Joseph Burrow Jr. Shaping up to be a nice stack for you. There's Teddy Halpin again. Says Austin Farmer agreed. Thanks, Teddy. I missed your comment where you say you picked up the 68 Nolan Ryan at. I actually got that card at a flea market probably like five years ago for 55 bucks. I was pretty stoked. That was, I think that was like part of what made me start buying rookie cards and collecting again was trying to go after the ones that uh, I obviously could not afford when I was younger. I mean, it's beat up, rounded off corners and stuff, but it's still a pretty awesome card though. Legendary card to have in a PC. John Jaha, Alan Trammell. Chet Lemon says, Joe's channel should be rated NC-17. All that frontal nudity he has going on. This is Steve Cook, I think. The Buckos. I remember Steve Cook. Mark Grace and a Bob Hamlin. It was a lot of hype back in 1990. WBJJ says, John, just make sure you're filming when the YouTube police come to your house. Make the YouTube police meet the mailman. See how they deal with him. Spicy Bear says, Hard R Carbs was drinking tequila on his show the other day. I was actually watching that. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good live stream. It was funny. And the gold card in here is Jeff Bagwell. Hey, what's up, Mark Davis? Bagwell. Nice one. There's Griffey. We found Griffey. Very cool. Nice looking card there. <laughs> Cardi B, do you recommend a feces facial asking for a friend? Mark Langston and Lou Whitaker. Nice Griffey, Joseph Burrow. First time seeing that one tonight. And leaves those two packs left. Let's 
else? Who else haven't we seen yet? I don't think we've seen Ozzy Smith yet. A few other ones. Big Mac. And there's Mike Mussina gold card there. So some nice Hall of Famers. Haven't seen Ripken yet either. Good call. Javi Lopez. Always liked Javi. Wilson Alvarez. Another Barry Larkin. And Cal Eldred. Great H set a pool of Devers, one of one patch out of a bone and platinum blaster yesterday. That's pretty awesome. Jim Mano says, I just realized Nolan Ryan already retired, so he's not in the set. Yeah, he is not in the set. Yeah, but we have not seen McGuire yet, and um, I don't know, there's a few other ones I'm not thinking of. Ripken is definitely one we haven't seen. Henderson, that might be him right there, though. I think so. What's up, Philip O? And Carlos Bayerga, or as Joe or one of us used to call him, Carlos Berga, back in our early years. Not the best one to pull as a gold card, but... There is another Donnie Baseball, and someone stuck to the back of him. Bobby Bo. Geronimo Baroa. Good stack there, though, overall. The Big Hurt Gold card, and there's a few other ones, too. Mattingly Gold. That takes us back to Joseph B. The next nine. There's Austin Farmer again. Says, "Drunk Dan is fun. If I ever go live, I will be drunk." <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good time for sure. I don't know if I would ever uh, do a drunk live stream or not. Maybe now that uh, my channel's being, I don't know, marketed towards kids, I might have to start doing drunk live streams to try to ward off the man. Hey, what's up, T Dog Shay? I have not yet. David Cohn is the gold card in that pack. Joe said, I've thought about doing a drunk show. I would definitely, uh, that would be interesting, Austin. I think you should do that. If you do, let me know. Raul Mondese, part of Top's Jailbreak. Klesko. Steve Avery and Bob Hamlin again. Brittany says that would be fun. Elkanon's already done too many drunk live streams. That's hilarious. Yeah, I can't say that I have yet. Maybe, uh... I feel like I'd be bending on the corners of the cards up and everything else. And If I was going to do a drunk live stream, I don't think I'd do a break. <laughs> have everyone asking for a refund. Edgar Martinez leading off. Uh, it looks like we definitely have a Kangaroo Junior Gold card come up at the end of the pack. Very nice. Dom G says you should do a Friendsgiving video of some of the coolest Friend Mail Fridays. That would be cool. That's a good idea, man. Jimmy Key, I'm actually pretty excited. I um, I, I was on eBay last night at probably like 2 in the morning. And I don't know how or why I staggered onto it, but I staggered across a Field of Dreams cardboard cutout from the VHS cassette. It's like 5 feet tall by 3 feet wide. <laughs> and I bought it. It was it was like 25 bucks, I want to say. And it was the best offer. And I was like, I don't really need that very much, but that's so cool. I can't not buy that. So I was like, I'll offer him 20 bucks and if he takes it, then he takes it. If not, no big deal. And um, threw in a best offer for 20 bucks and he took it. So it was pretty sick. Free shipping. But there's a Griffey Gold card. Very sweet. Like that one a lot. Five of 50. One of the best ones you can pull out of the gold subset. Yeah, so I have a huge uh, Field of Dreams cardboard cutout in the background now. <laughs> Pretty excited about it. Love that movie. WB says, John, do a late 80s car break on New Year's Eve night, and you have to chug a beer for every Sabo, Plunk, and Wath in your pool. That's a pretty good idea, man. I should do that. That's not a bad idea at all. Dom G says, or do a video of the finds you were most thankful finds from this past summer 2019. That's a good idea, too. <laughs> Chris Parenti, so one hiccup on your video and you're in trouble. Pretty much, man. But it seems like they pen uh, YouTube's going to penalize you more if you make videos. Like, say, tonight I make this video and it's, I don't know, it's obviously family-oriented, I guess, or family-friendly, kid-friendly. If I don't, if I put it for adults only, then YouTube 
can basically come after me and find me up to $42,000 for one video because I'm not allowing kids to watch it. That's kind of what I got, what I took out of the uh, small print, J.R. Phillips. Darren Dalton, Manny Ramirez, and is that the Ripken? It is. Ripken Gold. Pretty freaking nice. Yeah, so I was like, well, what do I got to do? Like drop some F-bombs and stuff in the videos and curse and stuff? And then I guess it's not family friendly anymore, kid friendly. So I guess if I throw some cuss words in here and there, then I, you know, can get away with it. Nice Ripken there for Joseph Baumgarten. Very nice. Chet Lemon says, I wish a solid YouTube competitor would, would emerge. Yeah, there's what, like, something called a like, bit shoot or something like that I saw someone talking about. Yeah, another platform needs to come out. Hey, Michael P., thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Dom Jesus Vimeo. Yeah, Vimeo is definitely pretty popular. <laughs> Greg, the first 20 words of a stream should be swear words. You know, I thought about that. Just cursing a bunch. There's Teddy Halpin, and it says, Drunk live stream flawless. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate you being here, too, Teddy. Very cool of you. Trevor Hoffman leads it off. Luis Gonzalez. Eric Karras. Bonds. Haven't seen that one yet. And Moises Alou. Moises Alou actually started his career off with the Buckos back in the early 90s. It's Austin Farming. It says, Maybe my first live stream will be a college graduation. One, knowing my group of friends would get hammered that night. Laugh out loud. History majors know how to party. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you definitely should do it, Austin. Thanks a lot, man. I think that'd be a huge hit. Let's do a live stream like while you're, I don't know. I don't know if you're a part of a, of a, of a fraternity or not, but doing like a, a box break during a fraternity party in the background. That'd be pretty crazy, man. All hammered, like slurring all your words. Thanks, Teddy Halpin. I appreciate that, man. Pat Listash, what a bust he was. Blonde Shields. Chuck Finley, looking overly happy. Matt Mieske and Bob Hamlin again. Kind of getting the shaft on these Bob Hamlin gold cards. It's the second one yet so far. No Big Mac yet, Chuck. We found some nice ones, though. Some nice gold cards. Griffey, Thomas, the Platinum. Donnie Baseball was nice. I haven't seen another one since then. Spicy Bears is Baseball Card Nightclub. <laughs> that would be pretty badass. And Craig H says, dropped 400, car 400 bucks on cards yesterday, but pulled that Soto Auto Endeavors patch, plus lots of rookies from this year. That's pretty good, though. I don't know what uh, Soto Auto sells for. I mean, probably, I don't know, a couple hundred now, I would think. I feel like that's only going to go up in value, too. If he keeps, keeps on keeping on, Hey, Chad Hopkins, what's happening, man? I said, hey, John, nice break. Happy to be back in Florida. Thanks, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Glad you caught it tonight. I just sent you an email response um, a little bit ago. Bet you the weather is probably pretty nice down there. It's not real cold uh, up here yet. I think it's like 45 degrees right now. Sean Green again, Chris Gomez, and oh, look at that. Thomas Platinum. That is sick. Joseph B., you're killing all the Platinums, man. Donnie Baseball and now the Thomas. Freaking epic, man. Very nice. Like that one a lot. Teddy Halpin says, I'm going to play baseball at IMG Academy and John Wathen Grand saw that. That's pretty crazy. Joe R. says, you and your brother need to come out to Colorado, man. There are some cool card shops and shows every month. You know, I was talking to um, Wrath of Kane's dad, and he was telling me about that, too. And also, Hard R Cards. They're out uh, in Colorado, and it seems like there's a pretty big scene out there for cards. Maybe uh, Eric and I will come out there sometime in the future. Card scene around here is kind of dead. Really no uh, card shops anywhere near us. I mean, there's a couple here and there that are decent, but um, nothing too crazy. Austin says, I was part of a history frat for a semester. I was the only business major, so naturally I was a treasurer. <laughs> that is pretty funny, man. And El Canon's in Colorado, too. I forgot. You are. Teddy Halpin says, you going to the 2020 National? Um, yeah, probably. It's in uh, Jersey next year, I believe, right? More than likely, I think we'll be there. Bonds Gold is a nice one. Walt Weiss. Never cared for Walt Weiss. I don't know why. Ozzy Guillen. It looks like we have a Greg Maddox. 
have not seen that one yet. Forgot about Greg Maddox in this set. And Ozzy Smith back to back. Nice stack. Joseph Baumgarten getting a lot of hits. Here stays in Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, I mean, uh, it seems like a pretty awesome place out there. I've been to California, but I took a plane out there, so I didn't get to see uh, all the states before it, which I'd like to do someday, like take a trip across the country. Check them all out. Marquise Grissom, not the best gold car we can get. Brian L. Hunter, Joe Girardi, and looks like Devon White, and Paul O'Neill, another Yankee for Joseph. And takes him down to his last pack of tonight, of his part at least. And we have nine more left. Bernie says, take me. Yeah, it would be sweet to go across the country at some point before I'm an old gherkin. Jeff King, Jay Bell, two former Buckos. Looks like we have a Rock Reigns there. Looking really pissed off. Must have lost his sack out of his back pocket. Bip Roberts and a Maddox Gold card. Another nice one. Another nice. <laughs> Brittany says you're already a gherkin, buddy. That is not nice at all. So good stacks for Joseph B. Two stacks and freaking... Maddox Gold and two Platinum cards. Killing it, Joseph B. Austin Farmer says, I used to eat gherkins as a kid. I had a weird, weird childhood. Nothing wrong with eating some gherkins. But uh, that's also a slang term for old people. Maybe like old senile people, I should say. I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean here. There's Bill Seitz. It says, hey, John, I love these cards. The good old days when you didn't get a million Cedric Mullins and Rowdy Tellez type cards. Thanks so much, Bill. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad that you remember these. I guess I guess a lot of people don't. Some do. I liked them back then. They definitely were not received very well. That is for sure. The last nine packs. Thanks for being here, Bill. Hopefully everything's going okay with you as far as your health, man. Check out and see. The last stack is actually for Super out in uh, California. Super John or Supper John. I never knew what uh, how that was supposed to be pronounced. There's two P's and two R's. Someday I'll have to figure that out. I don't think he's in here, but uh, Tony Gwynn's leading off. A favorite modern player, Teddy Halpin says. Ah, geez. I was definitely on a Machado kick there for several years. I don't know. I definitely probably on the bandwagon when it comes to like Juan Soto. I like Bregman a lot too. Yeah, I'd probably say one of them. Tony Gwynn. Machado just, I don't know. <laughs> Rather Kane says I hate Machado. <laughs> I used to like him a lot, man. Jason Bure, he was kind of a big prospect there. Chris Davis. There's Musina. Juan Gonzalez and Manny Ramirez gold card. Dragon Fan Tim says, look at Tony's average. 394. Pretty damn good. 394. 64 RBIs. That's pretty crazy. 94 stats. 394 batting average. Paul says Juan Soto is my favorite non mariner of all time. Yeah, I'm definitely rooting for Soto to have a nice long career and keep it going. Back in the hobby, what's happening, man? This is nice. I remember this product. Good luck. Yeah, we're definitely having, having a good time. We've seen some nice gold and platinum credit cards here. And kind of ruined by Jeffrey Hammonds there. Kind of a buzz kill. I know... Uh, Eric broke 92 Bowman a while back and kept seeing Jeffrey Hammonds, the uh, USA cards. <laughs> He's getting pissed about that. There's Almar and there's Big Mac finally. Craig H, the original Mullins. Big Mac and the mullet. Nice one. Carl's Berger again and Kurt Abbott. So 
So next week for Tournament Clock Tuesday, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Maybe 95 Emotion. I don't know if you guys remember those cards too. Uh, either that or 05 Upper Deck and look for the Verlander rookie card. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Teddy Hoffman says, Jeffrey Hammond is the credit card with no money on it. <laughs> how true, how true. Andy Bennis leading off here for Super. Garrett Anderson. I used to like Garrett Anderson a lot. Brian McRae. And Will Clark is the gold card. A lot of Will Clark fans still out there. Wrath of Kansas, 2005 upper deck all day. Yeah, maybe we'll do a five upper deck looking for the Verlander. It's Series 2. That's what he's in. And um, maybe we'll try and find some nice inserts, too. Paul also has a rare picture of Gary Anderson smiling. <laughs> that is true, Elkanon. That is definitely true. The RMM says, loved this design back in the day. Yeah, I think us as kids, we definitely liked it. It was different. And it was almost like a, it was a card and a toy in itself, basically. So, I liked them. But like I said before, series collectors kind of shunned it. Didn't care for them too much. And it looks like we have a Move On. Gold. Not bad. I used to have so many Move On cards. And they all lost all their value. A lot of insert cards that were... Kind of hard to pull. There's our buddy Justin Roberts. Brit, Brit all said that Chorley is going to be a, a year old. My girl is 12. <laughs> There's Teddy Halpin again. This is bye. Good night from New York. Thanks, Teddy. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for stopping in. Hope to see you again, man. Cool chatting with you. And it's a Chipper Jones gold card. Actually... Ah, shit. Dave Justice. Psych out there. Absolute psych out. Got real excited there for a second. Greg Gagne. Bobby Jones. Gary DeSarcina and Billy Ashley. Zero home runs in 1994. And we still have... Four packs left for Super. <laughs> Austin Farmer says, Teddy and I are keeping the past alive. <laughs> you definitely are, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, that was a Piazza Platinum for a second there. That was a nice surprise. Chet Lemon, Billy Ashley was a big prospect. He definitely was, man. I remember the, all the craze for him. Saberhagen. I feel like we're due for... Um, Another platinum. They're supposed to be one in ten packs, so we should see one more. Drabeck, Midray Cummings, kind of shitty, and we are Tony Gwynn platinum. Nice, very cool. The third platinum card. So we've seen what Thomas now was there. Frank Thomas platinum, Donnie baseball, and now Gwynn. Not bad at all. So that's going to super. <laughs> Joe's car cross is John Love Billy Ashley. I definitely had Billy Ashley in my Tony Two team, which uh, a lot of you guys probably don't aren't aware of that. We did like fantasy baseball back before it was I don't even, I don't think it was a thing back then. On uh, it was obviously simulated on on DOS computers back on Windows ninety three. And it was called Tony La Russa Baseball Two, where we'd all have draft day and everything and pick our players. And I had Billy Ashley in my team, and he was a slugger, man, like. I feel like he would he'd play for like a couple of innings and get hurt every single game, but every single at bat he'd crank one out of the park. I think so, right, Joe? Like he was definitely a big power hitter. David Cohn. So Eric would enter all the stats for all the players based on Baseball Weekly, which Eric loved Baseball Weekly back in the nineties, and I ended up going on to like it a lot too. Still have all my Baseball Weeklies, I want to say, but he'd take all the stats out of there and enter in, them into Tony Two, and that is how all the players played. I think the max you get was like it was like one to twelve. So if you had like a power of twelve based on like your home runs and everything else, then uh, every single at bat you'd crank a home run. And Billy Ashley definitely had a twelve power, <laughs> but he'd always get hurt because he like, he hardly had any at bats. I want to say Reggie Sanders, Dennis Eckersley, haven't seen him yet. Wade Boggs, new one there, and Conseco, gold card, not bad at all. 
trying to catch one of these comments. Doug O'Shea says, are those cards plastic or cardboard? The gold cards and the platinum, these are plastic die cut cards. The other ones are regular card stock. Actually, two packs left. Wrath of Kane says, Pete Cavillia struck out a lot in Larissa too. I'm glad you know that game. Hey, breaks and stuff. What's happening? Phone cards? Kind of look like it, huh? I see what Joe says here. Yeah, if a player didn't have a lot of playing time, he'd be more likely to get hurt. And some guys definitely like were hurt the entire season. We would play an entire season, and uh, we would simulate it. We originally started out playing them all manually, and it took freaking forever. Aaron Seeley, I'd have been screaming right now if I was 1995. I used to PC him, too, in the early 90s. Raphael Palmeira. Hey, Polly Junkwax. I see a Clemens coming up here. I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> Austin Farmer, can we use these credit cards to buy more cards? That'd be nice. And another Mike Musina gold card. Hey, what's up, Vesher? I think it's the second Musina gold we've seen. Not bad, though. Jim Minnell says, good collation. Yeah, this has been a fun break. I, I, I enjoyed it. I wasn't sure if these cards would hold up uh, over the years, looking back on them now, but they're fun to see something different. Hey, what's up, NCJ Sports Cards? What's happening? Last pack, and this is it for Super. <laughs> Joe's Car Crawl. I love the stupid crowd noise in that game. Yeah, there's one guy who's always yelling in the background. You hear it randomly. He's like, you're here. Definitely distinct noises and sound effects in that game. Uh, from this box, the cards have not stuck at all, which is... And another platinum card, Jeff Bagwell. Nice. So we beat the odds here. Four platinums out of this box. Pretty freaking awesome. So we saw a Gwyn out of, uh, what, the first pack in this stack. And now Bagwell. Not bad at all. Rico Brogna. Larry Walker, who should be getting in the Hall of Fame here soon. I hope so, at least. Dave Neeson and Neon Dion Sanders. So overall, pretty sick break. Joe's car cross says there was then a random drunk guy yelling. I, I would be with nothing. Yeah, for sure. The drunk guy was always yelling when nothing was going on, for sure. So Bagwell Platinum out of this stack. And let's see here. What was it? The very first pack we found the Gwyn. I was trying to do a recap here, but uh, I'm not going to go through all these. Nice, uh, nice box of cards there. Donnie Baseball Platinum, Gwyn Platinum. The Big Hurt, we saw him, and then uh, Bagwell now. And then we saw Griffey Gold and a bunch of other gold cards. A pretty freaking awesome break. I like these a lot. Like I said, if you want to get a box for yourself for fun or to rip whatever on the YouTube channel, they're usually about 50, around 50 bucks, between 50 and 60 for the most part. So keep an eye out for them. They're kind of hard to find overall. Like, there's a few on eBay, but uh, looking at different websites, different card shops and whatnot, they're like sold out everywhere. And... Um, I don't know how many boxes these were in production, but probably not too many of them left out there. So that's it for tonight. Like I said, let me know in the comments uh, what you want to see next week. If you want to see 05 over deck, Series 2, looking for Verlander, or uh, 95 Emotion. If you guys remember these cards too, another set that might take you back. Um, hopefully they don't stick. Might check those out. But let me know what you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys all in a couple days. So... Have a great rest of your week, everyone. I'll talk to you all soon.